Do you want an epic video to play like this when someone gives you a raid on Twitch? What the hell? Oh shit, we have a- Whoa! Oh my god! Hello, raiders! Whoa! Raid party! Raid, raid, raid! I'm Demi and I can help you do that. What you're gonna need is your streaming software, a prepared video on what you wanna play for your raid, Twitch, and an app called Mix It Up. And all these will be linked in the description below. And if you don't have a raid video, you can test it out with the one that I made that I uploaded here. Now we're gonna open up Mix It Up. If this is your first time downloading Mix It Up, you need to log in as a streamer. And then once you do that, if you're wondering how I put mine in dark mode, you hit the gear icon in the top right, go down to themes and colors, and it should be right over here. First, you wanna make sure that your Twitch is connected to Mix It Up properly. So you're gonna hit the hamburger icon up here Go all the way down to accounts and then make sure your Twitch is connected right up here. After that, we gotta make sure your streaming software is connected. For example, like OBS, you're gonna hit the gear icon again up here in the top right. You're gonna go down to general and then over here where it says default streaming platform, that should be Twitch. And then the default streaming software, that's gonna be OBS Studio, unless you use Streamlabs or XSplit. Now that we have all that connected, we're finally going to add the raid message. So if you go back to the hamburger, we're going to go down to events. And then under the Twitch box right over here, this is where we can find the command of what's going to happen when someone raids our channel. So under Twitch channel raid, you're going to hit add command and the middle button right here should be able to edit it. Now that command editor popped up, you're going to go over here where the drop down menu says action and we're going to look for the overlay and images right here and then hit the plus sign. It will pop up up here and this is where you can click on it to edit it. So what we're doing is we're adding a video and since I already have one, the action is going to be under video and I know that it's going to be uh, 1920 by 1080. And I know the duration of the video is going to be 30 seconds long. So make sure you put the exact height, the width, and how long your video is going to be. If you want to have a smaller video and not have it stretch up upon the whole screen, you can also have a screen uh, position by the pixels here, the percentage, or just by clicking on one of these boxes around here. And if you want, you can test around the little animations that it has. You can bounce in, fade in and out. For now, since I made a custom video, I'm just gonna leave it with no animation and hit save. Once you make your event, we have to make sure you have the overlay link to your OBS. So to grab that link, we're gonna hit the gear icon top right, go down to overlays, and you can copy this link right here. To make sure you mix it up as in your OBS, you're gonna have to make a browser source. So you hit the plus sign, click browser, call it mix it up. So you would paste that link right here and hit OK. Now, if your video has a green screen, you're going to have to add a filter to that. So you're going to right click, hit filter, and you're going to add a chroma key filter, which is this plus sign right here, and you hit chroma key. This way, anything that's green in the video will be transparent and play on the screen for you. And if your mix it up isn't working properly, you can try giving it a refresh by clicking this button right here or double clicking and hit the refresh cache. I do this at the start of every stream just in case. Now finally, to test if your raid message is working without going live, hit the hamburger, go back to the event page, go to that command we just made, and you're gonna hit this play button which will test it right in your OBS. Hit test command, and there you go. <laughs> And that's how you make a raid message. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to comment them and I'll help you out. See you next time.